Oh, all right, all right, all right. I have not opened this one, but this is the 11 pop Lithuanian men at arm rush into something, something, something. I don't quite know, but this is a new strategy that Apathy has been working on. In general, Apathy works on some of the craziest strats I've seen in my life. We're going to keep a close watch on what he goes for in this strategy. 11 pop men at arm. Does he mean 11 villagers? Men at arms into scouts, I think, was the last part. Anyway, um, to give you a little bit of background on General Arpfi, he is an memer extraordinaire. I believe he's around 1,000 or 11 to 1,200 ELO. And he tries some wacky stuff. He was really into Gunjara's elephant rush on Arena, in which he would place it in a team game in between both the opponents and then break through. He was doing that before it was mainstream. Before Tato and Doubt were doing it together, uh, before T90 uh, made a video on it, he was just rocking that. He was like, yep, yeah, I make elephants, elephants break through gates, and then somebody else comes in with knights or whatever it is. And it's a really, really strong strategy, in my opinion. He had like this crazy convoluted build order where he put all of the sheepers into the mill. And then he would ungarrison some of the sheepers and consume them. And he would have the fastest uh, fuel time for himself, which I think was like 19 pop and castle age, which was nuts. To say the least so let's see what he does in this one it looks like a total of seven on food and then two on two wood whether or not he's going to continue on wood wait what this is wacky to say the least taking advantage of the lithuanian 150 additional food constructing both those buildings i would do this same thing in the fast feudal into opponent resign this is looking real funky i like it okay so now he's just going to go wood 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 and it is indeed 11 pop build a barracks here i don't even know what is occurring this is this is nutty i like this i think you're freaky and i like it a lot but now how is he going to get enough men at arms Okay, he leaves free on wood there, collects the second boar, and then I think he's going to transition some onto food. It must be, right? What's the progress over here? Okay, they're in a militia. But how many can he make here? Not very many. Oh, it's, it's a no loom build as well, I'm assuming. Yeah. Two militia <laughs> at the eight minute mark. Okay, not the worst thing in the world. Also not the strongest thing in the world. I think you can fight off two militia with 21 villagers. And then I guess the transition is just scout, 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 scout. Because you're not on gold. But then you never have loom. You never have loom. I'ma give it all to you, killing people on the wood line. And there are the scouts. That's actually hilarious. So the men at arms could actually be used to counter spearmen in, and then the scouts could be used to kill archers that would counter the men at arms. But you only have two men at arms potential i guess you could make one more right with the 20 gold that's still available yeah okay so there's a spearman i also think you just fight this if you're red if you just fight this you can potentially just clean this up uh 10 villagers down is general apathy over here those have a whole bunch of, this is such a crazy all in is this the stupidest thing ever or is this brilliant um I don't know. Uh, that's not great though. That spearman's getting a, basically a free, ooh, free killer over there. I didn't manage to eco at home as well. Got to switch to berries. I think that's what kind of gave him some hiccups over there. Is this viable? I have no idea how viable this is. I, I might have to try this one out for myself because this looks fun. Um, I feel like you put yourself at a disadvantage. I feel like. And, and this, this is going to have to be by means of play, right? That I figure this out. I think 
you need more than just the 11 pop to continuously produce but maybe you don't maybe you don't i don't know there's the archery range it's 10 villagers versus 17. The villagers keep dying, but the military number is hugely in the favor of Apfi, and these men at arms are just being used at the right spots at the right time. Can't get that archery range up. I don't think archers is going to do enough against this number of scouts. And this is looking really, really bad for Red as the scouts are continuously being produced. He might actually have a win condition here in Feudal if he kills enough villagers wow okay i don't know why he keeps using the spearmen to attack the men at arms it's like the one unit that you don't want to be attacking with that but then again you know this is 1100 elo i uh, can't expect too too much running around with the scouts i don't know how i feel about that tower now considering that there's no tc drop in this one that tower is probably pretty okay at least you can still collect wood and collect gold red stuck it doesn't look like Red can really comfortably gather resources. If he was GG, I don't know. But things are things are things, I suppose. I also kind of wonder, like, what do you do once your berries run out? Like, yeah, okay, so, like, right now, what do you do? Transition into farms? Transition into farm. like, you, you definitely want to end the game quick. Man, I'm going to have to try this one out. Let's look at the KD. I'm sure the KD is absolutely ridiculous over here. Yeah, 32 to 8. Like, you just feel like you're so far behind. Whether or not you're actually that far behind is yet to be seen. Because look at how many more resources you collected. Very interesting strategy. 11 pop minute arms into continual scouts. I'm going to try this one out myself. Don't let your memes just be dreams.